the pictures are large. So. And, and, a, and a loft hat, uh, ladder. And again, anybody that's watching. Oh my God. Now. Oh, oh look at that there. And be a bit right. of crap. This is state of play in the living room. Nervous in case the paperwork that I need isn't accessible. <laughs> It's Saturday as I'm recording this. Sandra is ringing her bells. And when she gets back, um, we need to vacate as much stuff that we can out of this room. This is Hannah's old room, what we call Hannah's old room. One of the front bedrooms. Um, to make as much space as we possibly can because it is going to be up into the attic um, we go and this is going to be bedlam I, I know this is going to be bedlam but rather than hanging around while I'm waiting for Sandra I think I'm going to um, I think I'm just going to weigh up let's put all these loo rolls away um, dismantling this bed get the mattress downstairs and um, make a start oh boy no rest for the wicked so just de screwing this single bed, this sort of it's like a pine one, I've just taken the slats out. Um this is quite oops did I say this is quite a new bed. Um and this is the bed what Sandra's mum, Barbara, wants to take. Um so I've taken off the mattress, that's downstairs now. Never scrimp on a decent mattress, whatever you do. So I'm just I'm take, taking this out. Um never ever ever um scrimp on a decent mattress. Uh, so it's quite an expensive one and even on our bed um, we've got quite a expensive mattress right let's get this bed frame dismantled that's uh, that bed done all there everything taped up all the screws and screws for the slats bagged up and labeled um, waiting for Sandra Sandra's back Sandra Right, so I'm just going through laptops here, and this is all very confusing. I've got uh, that one there, which has got some life in it. Not too sure. I think that's uh, Hannah's old one. I think that was yours, and I'm not too sure about this one, but this screen's knackered on this, isn't it? Um, so I need to have a, I need to have a quick look, and then what we've done now is we've just pulled in bits. From that room into this room, and that they came from the other room, and then they came from the caravan, didn't they? Um, anyway, so that's basically things were were in, were in use. Let's have a look in the in this room now because we've cleared this, haven't we? I think so. Um, so I, thought, well, I don't quite get. What, I, thought, I thought the idea was to take apart this bed as well. So there's the a bed needs de de the bed's going to need demantling. Yes, yeah. it'd make more sense to do that. What about my pictures? I have no idea, but what about your pictures? What's... Don't say no idea. So... You can't put them in a box like that. It's too, the box is too big. You won't, you, won't, you won't lift the box. Every box has got to be liftable. But the pictures are large. So yeah. well, box we like don't that. have to fill the box. But... Yeah, we'll keep that as a picture box because we need to see what's in the attic. Well, where, where's the box going for now? There. Why there? Because we can pretend it came out of the attic. It's in a really awkward place right now. Oh. Pull it out and put it there. That's not not in an awkward place now. Now right, these are more um, boxes which I didn't realise we'd got, which can be re redone. As I said, the danger here is is overloading boxes with weight. Right, so that's all emptied and everything is downstairs. There's a lot to go through. Um, we're going to do a bit of a, a role reversal this time where Sandra allegedly is going to go in the attic and pass things down to me rather than the other way around but we'll have a quick you just been that by the way yeah I'm not emotionally attached to it good but what we'll do is because I've not been in the attic since um, <laughs> it's all well, you're looking guilty I'm not it's not guilty I'm, I'm waiting for my thank you 
clearing the whole house at short notice. I'm on day three, Sandra. I've cleared two, three sheds, one conservatory, one living room, one dining room, and one box room, and one front bedroom. Attic and our bedroom to go. There was a lot less, lot less stuff to clear after all the hard work I put in this summer. Good. We're gonna have a drink later. What? Dragging for a pint. You smell a Fahrenheit, but <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Uh, just, just, just hold on a number of boxes here, weren't we? In fact, you, you, you can open it. And um, I come across this in a box and say, oh, it's a lipstick or... I think it looks like a lipstick, doesn't it? Like it a, does. a lippy thing, what women have. So I'm um, gone and I said, what happened? What, what happened? Open it up. <laughs> so I, I'm not a big aftershaver. Um, sorry, aftershave wearer, but I do like something called Fahrenheit. Um, so years ago, so, Sandra bought me some Fahrenheit. It even says on the It box. does. That's why I knew what, why I twigged what was going on. <laughs> and I thought... Oh, oh, what's going on? Give, give us a squirt, Sandra. So oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it must so be it a... It must be a sampler or something, I don't know. I don't think, think it, it came free with your aftershave. Or I think it may just be some of what a man... Do men carry things like that around with them? Oh, what oh, smell like 1993. Oh, ready to go clubbing now. Got, got a bit of a rave. Oh, no, no, no. It's, no, this is more 1997, actually. What year was Fahrenheit in? At least it's not allspice or, or, or brew. <laughs> Slap it all over. Right, we need to um, pull down the loft hatch and poke my head up there, don't we? This is all a bit mad. Oh, this is all a bit mad. This because this time last year we weren't intending to move, so we put in um, we put we put in a new loft hatch and and a, and a loft hat, uh, ladder. And again, anybody that's watching. The vlogs will remember what we did up here. Anyway, I'm just going to pull down some air. Uh, a plug for the light. And I'm going to poke, poke my head up. Oh my golly, golly, golly. It's all coming back. So, um, again, you'll need to go back to literally a year ago when this all had rubbish loft insulation in and we cleared. Oh, there's a lot of stuff up here, Sandra. Fucking hell. Shine a light. What on earth are we going to do here? Right, we're just going to have to, just going to have to be bold. We're going to have to be bold. Anyway, we did all this. And I think you can see if we come down here. Again, those that weren't aware, but we put all these risers up. And then floorboarded um, the loft. And now... Oh my God. Now... was literally now a complete waste of money. HS2, that's now been... just a leg of HS2. Yeah. How many millions are spent on that? Don't know. So right, we need to be bold. So what we're going to do is we're going to get down what we can. And again, I've got a big pile of um, stuff to go to a tip. And there's, we're going to be... We've got to be ruthless on here now. How many Christmas trees have we got, Sandra? Um. Sorry, I'm very distracted by potentially needed paperwork. Right. Slowly, bit by bit, coming down. Um, Sandra's up here passing passing things down to me. All right, Sandra. Teddies. They're not any old teddies, them. They're Millennium Bears. Millennium Bears. Um, two, three, three that I bought my children. So I'm not going to open it. They used to talk, used to... This one on the wrist, they used to talk, and they still working up. Anyway, the things we keep, eh? Still accumulating around. I've got here several boxes of old bottles and things. Bedpan. And why have I got them, you're going to ask? So, as a kid, I used to go bottle digging on bottles, well, Victorian bottle dumps, as they say. Uh, anyway, I think they're going to have to go. That's where we are at the moment. ZX Spectrum computer, cassette tapes, and junk. <laughs> Two lots of divorce papers. Sandra said, these aren't mine. Um, those that didn't know, um, Sandra's actually my third wife. So, uh, yeah. 
How long do you, how long do you need to leave? Keep sorry, not leave. Keep divorce papers for. That's the question. Who knows? Join us. Do a keep or do a throw. I'm not sorting these out yet. Look at that there. Those of a certain age will know what that is. Do you know what that is? What about this one here? Look at this here, look. <laughs> Dial up modems. Who remembers the internet before broadband? Right, just quick, poke me head up. Up, up, up. Ah, we've... I've found two computers, Neil, and I've just seen there's even more computers at the back. I know, but I threw away about 25 computers the other year. I got done off the council thinking I was a, uh, a commercial computer person. Okay. Still a lot of stuff up here. an awful lot of stuff to go. Right, an awful lot of stuff to go. Oh, my God. And said to Sandra, we must be past a third of the way. Let's go and have a quick poke, poke, me, head, poke me head up. We've got to be. We've got to be. Oh yeah, there's. Yeah, we've got to be more than a third of the way. Um, ah, good grief! And this down here is a pile of stuff that's definitely needs bagging for a tip run. I think what's becoming apparent so far is Sandra is a paperwork collector. So I've got boxes and boxes and boxes of paper related things and I'm more of a I'm more of a a thing person if there's such a word almost an entire well it's half a bedroom full this metal trunk here I bet you can't guess what that is and why I've kept it um, since I was here, that was my dad's when he went to uh, when he went to war. Um, it's, it's my lens all dirty, possibly. Oh, my lens. Um, yeah, uh, my dad went to India during the Second World War, and basically they were given a a trunk like that to pack all the stuff in. Um, I'm just coming back to give some idea. Of what we're up against we may end up having to hire a skip uh, and apparently let's have a look up here now there's just right down to down to the bottom memorabilia i think i've mentioned in the past i've got quite a big collection of orchestral maneuvers in the dark stuff and i've no idea what I'm gonna do with it. Um, all right, let's get that down. I'm gonna keep that into the box room. Oh, golly, golly, golly. I'm gonna have a five minute break soon. Tidy, so we'll leave it tidy. Skegness. There's a story behind that, which I'll tell you in a moment. Edmonton, Atlanta, in Canada, so where my mum was, um, was born. And look, that easy that, Sandra. I can't believe a year ago we emptied it and then a year ago we filled it and then six months ago you refilled it and refilled it to hide everything from downstairs and we've now <sighs> read on it wait till you see the bedroom downstairs it is chaos so those up again um I'm worried now that we're overloading the bedroom floor to be honest we probably are it's books and papers um there's a mammoth task ahead um, over the next couple of weeks. I can get on with certainly a lot of my stuff. I'm going to have to leave Sandra to basically get going through here. But this 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 pendant, this Gagness pendant here. So I have told this story in the past. Do you remember this one? So my parents used to be in something called the British Rail Club. And quite often we'd go on British Rail excursions. And you get mystery tours and some seaside destination, town destinations, things like that. I even went to Oban on a on a sleeper on a sleeper. I said to you before the other day about a sleeper train, didn't I? On a sleeper train, uh, went to France on a hovercraft. Um, anyway, the Skegness one. It was a, a a treasure hunt on Skegness Beach. 
So we went off on the day and it was being recorded for BBC, something like North West Tonight, one of the local regional news programmes about this British rail trip that was going to Skegness. Anyway, I went on and I had, um, do you call them like black things you wear over your hairs like Dick Turpin used to wear, so you, you'd be disguised like you're a bank robber, like Batman things. I remember having them anyway. To cut a long story short, I can't even remember whether I sat on his knee on a train. Can you guess who the host was then? Stuart Hall. Those that know who Stuart Hall ended up being a bit of a kiddie fiddler, didn't he? And I may have sat on his knee at some stage. Some, somewhere in the BBC archive, there's a clip of me and my mum. And I can remember the continuity because I've taken these things off my face. But yeah, Stuart Hall. So that's what the um, that's what we've got there. Right, I think we'll unplug and um, I'm going to stretch my back out for a bit so I don't break it. Digest on how on earth we're going to we're going to tackle this, but that's a job well done. To be fair, that's um, yeah. Mammoth, we'll have, to, we'll have to leave a little something in a little box somewhere under the, under the things. I'm sure that's sure if you wanted to bring down those. Cycle posts. Uh, I, think I'll, I think I'll leave them up, but we might just like, leave a little, just a little trinket box. Um, because as I say, this house has been in the family since it was built brand new. Just hide it in a corner, and then maybe in a hundred years' time, somebody will find it and go, Oh, who were these people that used to own the house? Right, let's get myself down. There's a lot of lock ladders. Uh, and in here, this lot, not forget that that's all to do with Christmas, but mainly all of this lot here is OMD related. Um, sorry, a box of LPs. What have we got here? Human League. What have we got? Nasta Slash. Oh, who remembers Nasta Slash? He's dead. Um, the goodies. Genesis. Frankie goes to Hollywood. Two tribes. Vico, Peter Gabriel. The B fifty twos. That's a big, big B fifty twos fan. Love Shack. Craftwork. Oh, look at that there. And be a bit of craftwork. Um. Yeah. Propaganda. I don't know what's in here. Gary Newman, Gary Newman, Gary Newman. Those of a certain age will know what this is. Um, yeah, those of a certain age will know that cover. Um, how does it feel? to treat me so like you. Yeah, Blue Monday. Um, this photograph here of Andy McCluskey, here, so that's, that's an autograph. That photograph, I was taken, I think Manchester Apollo, um, think Sugar Tax, can't remember. It was shot on 35 millimeter film, that. Um, and that particular shot was used in a lot of publicity posters uh, and gig posters. And it was even from memory in some tour programs. So it's not really, as I say, it's all, 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 all a bit overwhelming now to how we're going to deal with this because if this lot, any, even if half of this comes back to um, Lincolnshire, it's going to be a Luton van, which I don't really want to do. Um, yeah. Ruthless time. Right. This is state of play in the living room. Um, it's a... It's a bit, where have you gone? It's a bit, it's a bit over, sorry, we've got a random mattress uh, on our backs. It's a bit overwhelming this, Sandra, at the moment, isn't it? Where, 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 where are you going to start? Well, you know, I'm trying to be accommodating here, but, um, <laughs> there's more than one way to skin a cat. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Just, just, if we just close our eyes and just throw it all in a skip. I'm going to spend all night now worrying that there's too much weight on that ceiling. Frankly, it's quite possible. It's all been in the attic, hasn't it? 
Right, as I say, it's going to be a, a, a relentless couple of weeks now. Um, and I think what we're going to, I'm going to end up doing is I was going to try and get some tip runs done in the Ago, but I think we'll no, th- it's, think it's going to be... Uh, no chance. I mean, if you had your car back, yeah, oh, we, we we will have some news on my car as well, all being well soon. Um, you're, not so, rec- you're not wrecking my suspension for this. It's no. too big a job. So I may lob everything in the front garden for the time being because say most of it's been bagged. So we were just looking at skip higher and we may just get a skip and just, just pay, pay the, what is it, 200 quid or whatever. Um, we've we've got a thank you. Anyway, sorry, waffling from somebody, Sandra. Do you want to, do you want to just give a thank you? We have a, a copy. Uh, thank you to... Lorraine, so Lorraine's been watching our progress because they're thinking of moving soon, apparently. I'm not sure we're exactly a role model for her to move, but anyway, thank you. <laughs> Maybe a bit of a what not to do as well. <laughs> Accumulate stuff for 18 years and then think, oh dear. So she sent over a coffee, but not for a coffee. She oh. left She left a message. So the treats for Asha and a glass of wine for us. Thank you. Sandra, you've got about 900 bottles of wine to get through. I've put the... So what, what are we away? Do you remember that bottle of beer collection that somebody yeah, sent us? You are exaggerating just slightly, but, you know, I'm not a big drinker, what can I say? So I've, been, I've actually been drinking more than I normally would to try and shift some of the bottles, and then Neil came back with another six bottles. <laughs> I was like, okay. Oops. The beer collection that somebody sent to us, um, forget his name now, is in the big fridge. I'll put them in today. All right. So, um, Lovely. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So we are going to go out so, tonight. We're, we're, yeah, I think we, we will uh, get through our drinks at some point. Yeah, so it's getting on late late afternoon. I'm going to I'm going to do tea again. I'm going to do a spag bowl for tea. And then I need to get a bath because I'm sweltering and sweaty. Uh, I smell a Fahrenheit. <laughs> You do. I might give myself. I might give myself a spray for right. And I think so. We've got a pub down the road called the King George by the Altingham Football Ground. It used to be our go-to place, but several years ago, got new owners, and it's, it's you can't really talk in there, can you? Wherever you go, there's. Well, I've not been for years, to be fair. Because uh, well, we'll see. We but we may go down to the George uh, and have a walk down. Um, Let's put it this way. You're. Of a certain age and all that, but ladies of a certain age, I'm, it's probably not only me, but you try walking to a pub on your own as a certain lady, and it's just like, it's just like not worth the bother, really. <laughs> no, so the, pro- the problem. So, no, I haven't been out much to pubs at all. Since, no, so the problem. The away. problem with the George he's got a television every in every room that's on full full blast. Or historically, it always has been. Plus, they've got a, a jukebox on at full blast, and um, yeah, it's a bit like a sports bar isn't it more than a well there was a naughty football match on today earlier you know so. oh they'll be all they'll all be gone by this by tonight anyway we'll, we'll never wonder that it used to be called the moss those of a certain age will know the moss um uh, used to have a vault it used to have an outdoor in it off licensed in the middle of the pub so um i'm just going to spend uh an hour now i'm going to just start to work out how on earth we're going to um deal with everything uh and as i say i'm optimistic optimistic that by this time next week or by the end of next weekend we will have had pretty good progress i know sandra's working and it's knackering but if sandra can get an hour a night or whatever and i can plod on during the during the day well, so there's a slight issue now and it is what it is but i'm just nervous in case the paperwork that i need isn't accessible <laughs> It, it is. I, I'm, I'm hope, well, yeah. hope, hopefully it'll be okay. Yeah, it, def- it definitely is. So we've rammed the... We've tried to do it so that we can still access paper, like the stuff in the office that we might need to get to. Obviously, hoping most of the critical stuff's in this stash here, but, you know, yeah, it is what it is. No. Um, I'm even going to throw so, away cassette tapes. Are you? Just so, wondering about that. Yeah. Uh, uh, so it's tricky, but... A lot of this stuff can go. It's not an issue, but I just need to be careful. I don't chuck away something really critical in the process. So. No, we have got tricky one. Several boxes of what I call confidential papers, and we have got a shredder. But you're shredding it, you, 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 it oh, for, forever. And then we had a bonfire yeah, yeah. last year with a load of stuff, didn't we? But you, mm. you, you can end up smothering the the fire. Um, yeah, and even the shredder. I tried to do some for Mum a few weeks ago, and it's kind of. 
it crimped it, but it didn't really shred it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not sure. Anyway, yeah, so we might we might we, we might have a. Uh, we might have to do, do it on the fire. Um, I've got a box. I've got an electrical roll laced that needs burning. You've got a load of, I won't say what it is, but a load of private papers that need burning. Um, yeah. Are you still keeping your two lots of private papers? The divorce papers. I've already had a discussion. That I've just asked people, what do, 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 do I might need them? What do you do? How old? I don't know. How old do you? I have no idea. Well, one of the other things is, sorry, when you're doing a, when you're doing what we're doing, can you imagine if me and Sandra had died, or when we died and the children had to come and do this? Uh, it's well, it's it's overwhelming, isn't it, for the well, kids? Well, Hannah's already been through this, you know, so and she's actually she's she's horrified at the process. She says she won't even keep anything in her loft now because of her experience. Yeah. So, uh, so it wasn't intentional, but it was. It's always a bit. It has been a bit shocking to be fair. No. So even with you, um, you, you so, so I was just saying, I'm a. Bear in mind how much I threw away in the summer as well. There's just so much left. No, well, I say I got scary. cleared that loft out without computer stuff and all the computer stuff that I've still got. But you're a paper girl. You're a. You, every, all most of your stuff is paper, whether it be books or papers. Mine's more things. What do you what do you, what do you, what do you call what do you call a, a hold that holds papery type things and a hold that holds non papery type things? Well, in the old days, I'd have been called a bookworm, I suppose. Yeah, but it's just papers, more papers. Well, right, I think we'll finish this off. Um, it's been a you have a bit, fair amount yourself, you know. Yeah, I do. The papers as well. And what what what's for doing with my OMD collection? Well, I was going to say, like, I was a bit surprised you bought yet more stuff this year because that's what you do when you're a collector. Yeah. But what now? I don't know. We'll know. We'll know in the next two weeks. So, as I say, I've got in 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 in, in my head that it, it's going to take two weeks to get through this properly. I'm just chuckling a bit to myself because all it when Neil was still away, he was like, first of all, it's like get rid of everything. I've not missed anything, and now he's seen it all again. It's like, oh, actually, I remember that. Ooh, and it's like getting all excited. No, 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 no. And also, he kept saying, get rid of my bottle collection. As if I... just getting rid of your bottle collection would solve the problem, but it, it, it won't really. So obviously, over the course of the next few <laughs> vlogs, you'll you're going to come on a journey with me and see me getting rid of things and all being well, rehoming some some items. So uh, with the bottles, mm -hmm. um, Gareth and I've got the other guy name from the hive in Altingham. I'm hoping I can give them to them and they can clean them and they can sell them and make some money and they'll go to a good home. Uh, well, one bit, but. Um, yeah, we'll wait and see. Right, should we get going? Because um, you're going to have a cup of tea and you've got quite a big big task. In... <laughs> even even Rash has just given up, haven't you, Rash? What's happening, Rash? There's now a mattress in the living room and all these papers. Just the tea's free. The, oh, the log burner was still going this morning as well. Did you notice it? It's blowing hot yeah, when yeah, it came down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hello, Russia. How are you? Anyway, in kind of good news, because of those that have been following for quite a while, so obviously we had the loft, no, not the loft, the roof completely redone when Neil was away. And it was all a bit somewhat stressful because they started it when I was when I was away visiting Neil and uh, they said it would be dry for two weeks and it, it wasn't remotely dry for two weeks. So we had a rather tense night when there was a massive thunderstorm going on outside and there was nothing but the membrane on the roof. And it, anyway... It's all sound, it's all absolutely fine. Um, but because it was so moist when it was put on, we are just going to give it a bit of an airing now, aren't we? Just just, just to get some fresh air up there. Moist. Humid. Moist. You said moist. Well, it was It was more than humid because there was like... Those that know will know. Yeah, it's not has like it. that. Not you're like just, what? You just dirty mind. But, oh, I mean, no. <laughs> I picked up a couple of folders initially and there was actual, like, actual liquid on not. 
soaking wet, but you know, just, just yeah. condensation, so, I think. So those those that don't know, when Sandra says we had the roof done, we had the roof retiled. Um, so we're on a semi-detached property. Literally everything. Yeah. yeah so the so. whole, uh, the, all, all the roof tiles came off. Right, come on, let's get going. We've got um, got got a lot to do, and uh, yeah, try and get the feet up for an hour, get some tea cooks and things like that, and um, we'll take a camera out and we'll have a walk down to the King George. Not that he's asked, but bell ringing went well this morning. I'm getting yeah. quite good now. Good. I'm getting quite good at. I didn't get. I didn't get shouted at at all today. It's a bit of a miracle. Why did you get shouted just, at? Well, not really shouted at, but just corrected for doing bits wrong. Well, you shouldn't be doing things wrong. You should be perfect like me. It's a hard, it's a hard skill, Neil. You should come and film it at some point. What you? I can ring I'll the be bell. I'll at Christmas. Do you want to come and film me ringing at Christmas? <sighs> My dingaling, my dingaling. I want you to play <laughs> with my dingaling. Catch you all on the next one, guys. Take care. Later. Bye. Bye.